perspective on this kind of shifts uh, depending on the time of day and my, I don't know, like how I'm feeling about the world in some ways. Uh, there are clearly are things that are unacceptable and we shouldn't be just debating, discussing at all. Uh, the, the extremist kind of posture and statements, the, uh, you know, the baiting that I think comes from the far right, uh, misogynistic comments and perspective. I mean, you just go down the list of things that are just fundamentally not acceptable that aren't really open for debate and discussion. So I'll, I'll kind of set those aside and assume that at least for this conversation, we can all agree that some things are just not open for discussion. That said, um, if we are really going to advance our work with integrity, if we're gonna change the world in the way that I think we all aspire to, at least those of us on this call, we have to recognize that we're not all kind of um, advancing the same set of solutions, answers. We're, we're not all taking the same kind of analytic frame to what's wrong and what needs to be addressed. And we need to be open to the idea that there are various ways that we can approach this work. There are various perspectives and, and ideas about what needs to be in, uh, promoted and how we analyze what's wrong. The, I think part of what's Setting aside the polarization of the political side, I think part of what's wrong with impact investing today is that in some ways it, it has already devolved to a set of postures and positions where, you know, my fund is better than your fund. This issue is more critical than that issue. Um, you know, I've got the killer app for poverty and this other one, you know, is not so compelling. And you end up in this place where you're basically oppositional. You're, you know, from the investor perspective, you're having to sort through a host of strategies, all being developed and executed by people with good intent, great expertise, real commitment, and yet you've got 20 solutions for any given challenge that you're trying to address or explore. And on the one hand, uh, they can't all be right. And on the other hand, they're all right. They're all correct, right? And so I think part of what, when I'm working with families and with my colleagues here, what we try to say is we meet clients where they are, but we don't leave them there. And we, we kind of start with, you know, where you stand depends on where you sit. And you have to recognize that people come into the conversation with different backgrounds, experiences, worldviews, perspectives about like what matters and what doesn't matter. And part of our role and opportunity is to kind of get out of that oppositional frame and sit together at the same side of the table and kind of look outward and co-create solutions going forward. I think the the field is so dynamic, these issues are so dynamic and changing, the solutions that we embrace and advance at time zero, to my mind, should not be the solutions that we're advancing at time five, because we need to recognize the dynamic nature of, of this challenge and what we need to be advancing. And if the things that I'm funding five years from now are exactly the same things I was doing five years ago, I think I'm wrong somehow, right? Because it means I'm not really taking into account kind of new stakeholder voice, new insights, new perspective about not only markets, but, you know, uh, ecosystems, communities, families. I mean, like, there's a whole host of factors, all of which is kind of in motion at the same time. So we need to, I think, dial down what I find sometimes to be a level of, uh, I don't know. I mean, you have to have some level of self-righteousness just to make it through this shit to begin with, right? So I, I recognize that, I applaud that. I have been a part of that for the better part of my life and career. That said, uh, where we need to go is not where we are today. We're not gonna get there just because everything I think is right, I force everybody else to do because you know I have a checkbook or whatever it is. We have to get into a, a co-creation posture. And I think that's the, the challenge and the opportunity of this kind of polarization piece. Um, so I, I'll, again, I'll stop there. We could talk about a whole bunch of different things coming out of that, including the, the anti-ESG and impact backlash that uh, we're seeing not only in the US, but in Europe. <laughs>